Good blessed is Saturday, November the uh, 14th, 2020. Uh, it's about uh, 4.08 uh, p.m. These is my two babies. Let me hurry up and let them get from out of the rain. You know what I mean? I ain't going to even tell y'all their ages. And then, you know, with men that grown men that try to talk to my babies, I ain't going to even say the age. If they don't tell you, you see what I'm saying? I ain't going to say no more. Lord is your shepherd and you shall not want no. <laughs> let me stop, Lord. Forgive me because I, you know, uh, I'm going to let them, I'm gonna let them take it. But anyway, you know, y'all, y'all keep on praying for, for me and my babies and my daddy. We preparing for next week. Uh, what is it? Thursday, uh, the 19th, uh, for my daddy's 93rd birthday, we ain't going to do no traveling due to the uh, coronavirus. Uh, and uh, we're going to just have it at home with us because we know none of us don't have it. Thank God. But anyway, y'all say something right quick because y'all know I talk too much. Uh, well, hey, everybody. And I hope everybody's having a good, day. Go ahead, Queen. Hey. In the Spanish, yeah. In Spanish, Spanish, and watch y'all kids. Watch your kids because there's so much. You want to tell them what happened? And you remember what state that was? It Something. Was in Louisiana, I think. And it's about uh, three or four days ago. Right. See how my babies do the research. Tell her. Tell her what. The Kawan Charles murder. It was. Just Talk up a little loud. It was basically. Um, well, it was. Um, well, he was um, like another Emmett Till. He was lynched. Um, he was leaving his father's house and one of his white friends and his white friend's mother had came to pick him up <clears throat> and when he didn't reach his mother's house, his mother called his father and then his father didn't know where he was at and his mother didn't so they went to the police station and they found a missing persons report and the police told them there was nothing they could do so they went on a search for their cells and then they, um, the police eventually found him in a field and he was um looked like he was burnt and but i didn't see the pictures i'm just going off what people said and they said that his lip was torn his um whole body looked like it was burnt but the police said he drowned how old was he he was 15 years same old. age as in material I thank God that my daughters and them do their research. That's why I bought buy them uh, modern uh, modern technology, uh, computers and things, phones. Well, they can do research. You know, and, you know they got a free will to 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 get on stuff that's negative. You know, uh, once upon a time that's what they maybe used to do. And you know, I gave them a lecture because they they uh, you know they're young. You know what I mean? But y'all go ahead on and uh, you know. Uh, you you know drive safe and and be careful. You know uh, you know some people said they they call the law. Let them dial nine one one. Everything legal, baby. Yeah. You legal with you? Look at it, dropping your phone. You get nervous. You must and let some let some guy been and call that phone. <laughs> hey, look here. <laughs> right, let me stop it, y'all. I love my babies. I trust my babies. You know, and I I thank God. You see what I'm saying? With all the things that's going on here in southeast Missouri, uh, if I was the chief of police, if I was the sheriff, if I was the NAACP present and past uh, uh, presidents here in Charleston, Missouri, and any of these people that uh, be on these marches, you know, I would be ashamed to even say my name or who I am. Especially when you promoting people that's out here hiring other people to kill people. But I'm going to leave that at that. I thank God that I never in my life attempted to pay somebody to kill somebody because of what they did to me and my family. And I didn't had a brother. I didn't had a brother that was murdered. Uh, shot four times in the back and once in the back of the head uh, because he merely whooped somebody in a head up fight. I was assaulted physically for no reason at all. My children was abused by a white bus driver in the Charleston R1 school district. The present NAACP president 
was on this same corner in April of 2016 telling children that I raped children. But I never once, never once did I try to get somebody to do something to them, which I have the power. Never once did I have anybody to do something to the bus driver. Never once did I have to anybody to do anything to the persons that physically assaulted me. You had the sergeant of the Charleston Police Department. And you had a white officer by the name of Austin Henson. A military man standing on his right here on the same corner when I called him because somebody was harassing me. And I got him on tape laughing and joking about the thing. That's why I don't honor Austin Henson, even though he a military man. You see what I'm saying? I don't honor him at all. I looked at him as being a corrupted, racist white police. And I, it's, it's the other reasons why I'm, gonna say, why I'm saying that. But anyway, God worked things out for a reason. You be careful how you entertain strangers. Some have entertained angels unaware. God bless, continue to bless me and my family. Have I took, had I ever took uh, repercussions or have I ever, hey, hey, now, have I, if I ever had got, seek to revenge, I wouldn't have been able to have my children that I have now. I would be locked up somewhere on death row. One thing about it, y'all, just keep an eye on Charleston, Missouri, Mississippi County. Watch what's about to fall down in the Charleston, Missouri Police Department in the 33rd Circuit Court here in Charleston, Missouri, Mississippi County, in the Mississippi County Detention Center or the jail here in Charleston, Missouri, the R1 School District here in Charleston, Missouri, Mississippi County with some of these black preachers, with the NAACP presidents. Ain't that something? Here it is, two black High-ranking military men, individual call themselves preachers, voted for Donald Trump. They didn't vote for Obama, and they didn't vote for Biden because these is black individuals. Wouldn't vote for Biden because black Biden has a black Asian running mate. Ain't that something? But yet, that somebody just sent me a thing and asked me to run for and uh, consider running for a Democratic. A seat here in Charleston, Missouri. I wouldn't run for nothing in Charleston, Missouri, but run to the next plane, train, or anything leaving out of here. It's good people in this in this in this city. Don't 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 get me wrong. But the people that's in power, black and white, they don't care nothing about the black community, the non-sellout black community. Peace be still.